to today's session. So we continue looking at the 2022 GCE Mathematics Paper 2. And our question of interest leads, which is question number six. A bag contains nine identical cards, four of which are Ku Hanjika cards, three Landa cards, and the list are Volele cards. Two cards are selected at London from the bag one after the other and not repressed. Draw a tree diagram to show all the possible outcomes. So the key thing that we need to notice is these nine cards are identical. So total number of cards, T is equal to nine. Then we have K cards, which is Kohanjiga, that are basically K, they are four. Then we have Landa cards, L, which are basically three. Then we have Volele cards, which are basically the remainder. When you add four plus three, we get a seven. So seven, we know them. Then from nine, we do we have two, so that they are all nine in total. Then, two cards are selected in this case, one after another one. So there's a first selection and the second selection, okay? So the question is asking us to draw the tree diagram. So, how we, so in this case, what it means, we're going to have two branches, okay? So this is the first branch. So we have the first K, which is four out of the nine cards that are identical. Then we have L cards, which are basically three out of nine identical cards. Then we have two B, which are nine, which is two out of nine identical cards. Then this is the first selection. S1 or the first branch. Then we go for the second one where we select, given that the first one we selected was K. So we could select K in the first one, then in the second one. Then we also have in this case, like this branch, then we have this branch. So the first branch in this case assumes that if the first selection we made is a K. So if you selected the first one to be K, we can also follow it up with a, a different color. Okay, a different color in this case. So we could have selected that the first time with our first selection, which is on the first branch, we have K. If we selected K in the first place, then it means we are not replacing that one. We take out one. We remain with 3K. Then also the total reduces by one. Then we remain with 3K out of the remaining eight. So there is a chance that we would select a card, the three out of eight chance that we select a second card to be K. Now, in this case, since we've selected K on the first branch, the L has not changed. They remain the same three. So we also have a chance of selecting three out of now eight, not nine, because remember we took out one already. Okay. Then on the second selection, assuming that in the first case we selected the K, we would have two cards remaining in the bag which are blue out of eight okay so we come to this branch in the same branch one if assuming that in the first on the first selection we selected l there is a chance that we could select k in the second selection which is basically uh remember they have four k so it's four out of eight because in the first place we didn't select k then similarly L, now L because in the first place we selected L, so it means L would have reduced by one, the one that we took out. So we would remain with two out of eight. Then we didn't, we didn't select B on the first selection along this branch or root. 
So we still have 2 out of 80B. Then when you come down to, on the first branch, the, 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 the B, it means in the first selection, we didn't select K, but you selected B. Okay, so this is K. So there's a chance that we can have the first selection B, the second selection K. But since we selected B in the first place, that's the assumption. It means B reduced by 1, but K did not change. So we still have 4 cards out of 8 in K. Then L, we have 2 out of 1 or 3 out of 8. Because in the first place we selected B, then we have in this case 1 out of 8, which is B. So basically, and this is the second selection, okay, the second branch. So what is key is ensuring that on each branch, in this case, if you look at this branch, we have 4 out of 9, 4 plus 3, which is uh, 7 plus 2, which is 9. 9 out of 9 is 1. So this branch is giving us a 1. Also, this branch will give us a 1. We have this one, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 2, 8. 8 out of 8, 1. So all the branches should give us a 1, 1. So we have this branch, 1, 2, 3, 4. So all the branches should give us a 1. So this root means... We selected K in the first place, then we select K in the second place. So in this case, we selected L and L. Then we selected K, then we selected L in the second place. Okay, so this is what is expected for us to get the two marks. Let us go to number two. Say, so what is the probability that both cards selected are of the same type? So of the same type. So we can only have the same type that in the first case, if you selected D, so probability that we selected D on the second one selected K given that we selected D K in the first place which is this lot okay then the other one probability that we select L on the second selection given that in the first place we selected L which is basically this lot okay they wind up with the same colors then we have this root which is probability that we select B2 given that in the first place we selected B also. So we have three possible loads. So to find that, what we need to do is we need to multiply these probabilities. So we have basically 4, four out of 9 multiplied by uh, 3 out of 8. So it's this multiplied by that. So we end up with basically 12 out of uh, 72. Okay, this is the first one. So similarly here, we multiply this one by that one, which is basically 3 out of 9. We multiply by 2 out of 8. We end up with 6 out of uh, 72. Okay, similarly this one, what we do is we end up with basically uh, this one multiplied by this one, which is basically 2 out of 9 multiplied by 1 out of 8. We end up with basically 2 out of 72. Then we add these probabilities. So we add these three probabilities to find this answer. Okay? So... What this tells us is basically the probability that we are looking for is now in this case. Just want to use the same space so that we are able to see what we are doing. So it's basically probability that we can pick k in the first place and k in the second place, which is a 12 out of 72, plus probability that we can pick l in the first place and we pick l in the second place, which is basically. 6 out of 72, then plus we add basically probability that we pick B, which is Vulele, and B in the second one, which is basically 2 out of 72. So when we add these two, when we add these two, we we'll end up with 12 plus 6 plus 2, which is basically 20 
out of 72. When we simplify, we divide by 4 both sides. On top and the bottom, we end up with basically 5 over 18. So this is basically the answer to this question. So basically, this is how we deal with this answer. Okay, so that's question number 6A. Let us move to question uh, 6B. Question 6B leads, start the following pseudocode. Start, enter capital R, small r, then L. If small r is greater than capital R, then print error. The value of R is not valid. Else, calculate S equal to pi multiplied by open bracket R capital R plus small r close bracket multiplied by L. And if print S, stop. Draw a corresponding flow chart for the pseudo code above. So, what we need to do is let us start. So, we have so start, okay. Then, after we start, the first thing that will be required is to enter. So, we are required to enter capital R, small r, and L. And these are possible radius, small radius, and the length. Then, after we enter, we need to check. Okay, so we need to check. So, is small r greater than capital R? So, there are two possibilities. So, you can have a yes. So, if it's yes, then... We need to print, so we enter this print error, the value of R is not varied. So we are typing this, okay. Then we will be required to collect that value of provide a collect value of R. But if it happens that is not the case, in this case, which is no, okay, if it's no, then what we do is we proceed to calculate. So in this case, we are proceeding to calculating S is equal to basically pi multiplied by R plus small r multiplied by L. Okay. Then, once we calculate that, once we calculate that, we need to display these results on the screen. Hence, we are saying print S. Once we print S, the next thing is we have achieved what we want to do, then is to stop. So we are stopping. So basically, this is how you do the, the flow chart for this question. So you've seen the entire flow chart.